Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Sauce. So the bad news is the bet of the day streak ended last night. Pacers minus three and a half. They blew it in the last couple minutes. The good news is the NBA winning streak continues. We had another monster night. We picked up another 1.75 units. Top bets went 4-2-1. Solid night in the NBA. We actually were green in all three sports. Great night. Let's keep it rolling. This video, we got a good game here. Hawks versus Suns. Let's do it. Welcome to The Sauce. Get the Suez. All right, Phoenix on the road in Atlanta here. The line is Hawks plus five and a half and all the early actions on the Suns. 64% of the bets, 90% of the money on Phoenix. This is as of 4 a.m. this morning. Check this out though. So all the actions on Phoenix, right? All the money's on the Suns, but the books keep dropping the line. Goes from five and a half. We're all the way down to Hawks plus four now. Either the books know that Trey Young's gonna play or they really like the Hawks and they're setting a trap here for Suns better. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers through the spreadsheet. According to the analytics, the line for this game should be Hawks plus 0 0.95. So that's a three point lean on Atlanta here. All right, let's run through a quick breakdown. And like I said earlier, Trey Young, game time decision and we need an answer to this. The Hawks are, the Hawks offense specifically, day and night with and without Trey Young on the court. Check this out, with Trey Young, the Hawks average 114 points per game and shoot 47% from the floor. In the five games without Trey Young, they average just 98 points a game and they're shooting just 48.42.8% from the floor. Like I said, night and day. Now let's assume Trey Young plays in this game because I think he's going to. The Hawks analytically are out of this world, especially on offense. First in points per possession, third in efficient field goal percentage, first in free throw rate, uh, like fifth in turnover rate, just out of control the last two or three weeks. Hawks just dominating offensively. But in case you didn't know, the Phoenix Suns are second in basically all those categories. They're right up there with Atlanta. So I think it's safe to say that right now, these are the two best offenses in the NBA right now. We're not gonna be able to find the lean between these two teams if we're just comparing offenses because they're both outstanding. They're both unbelievable. So we gotta take a look at their defenses. Now you would think, or at least I would think, just judging by the way this year is gone, that Phoenix probably has the edge defensively, right? The Hawks in the last two weeks are actually third in defensive efficiency. Yeah, first in offense, third in defense. This Hawks team is dominating. Suns are just 13th. So that's when I started questioning. I was like, you know what? The, these numbers are insane. The Hawks have had to play a super easy schedule. So I looked at the strength of schedule numbers. Actually, in the last 10 games, Hawks are ninth, Suns are 21st. So the Hawks even have played a stronger schedule than the Suns. How are we not all over the Hawks right now? How are we not hammering the Hawks plus four at home? Simple answer, the Suns have won 11 straight basketball games. They're on another crazy win streak, 11 straight going for 12 straight. So on one side, it's like, how can we fade the Hawks right now? On the other side, it's like, yo, how can you fade the Suns right now? We gotta fade one of them. I'm taking Atlanta, man. I'm taking Atlanta plus four. I think the Suns winning streak ends tonight. This bet will definitely be on the final ticket, which is posted on kylecrums.com around five o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Have my bet of the day. Probably a top three bets tonight. It's a little bit of a light slate. Parlay of the day, as well as every single pick in every single sport posted right on kylecrums.com. Also, if there's any crazy last minute updates, injuries, money shift, line movement, anything like that, I will definitely keep you posted on my Twitter, Instagram story, and Facebook. So make sure you check out one of those three platforms before you place your bets. We are cooking in the NBA right now. Let's stay hot. Let's have another big money night. I'll talk to you on Twitter.